So hello and welcome. In this tutorial I would like to show you how to create a for loop in Adobe Animate CC 2021. So we are going to be working in HTML5 canvas and we are going to be writing a code with JavaScript. Uh, so very simply, I will go ahead and create uh, some uh, simple shapes. So I, I will go to the rectangle tool and I can go with green color that really doesn't matter. And I will create a shape like this. Uh, now I will click on the shape. I will go to the modify and I am going to hit convert to symbol. Uh, make, sure that it, make sure that it is movie clip and I can call this to be uh, green one, for example, and I will hit OK. Uh, so right now uh, it is going to be here in the library. Uh, I can go ahead and duplicate this. So I will hold Alt on the windows and duplicate it like so. And one more time like this. And I can highlight all of them and duplicate them one more time. So right now I'm going to have uh, six uh, shapes. I will click on one of them and you can see that it is movie clip and there is this instance name. And this is the name by which we are going to be targeting this with JavaScript. So very simply, I will just call it G1, like the green one. And the other one is going to be G2 and so on. So we will have to create a unique name uh, for all of them. So very quickly, this is going to be G4, this is going to be G5, and the last one is going to be uh, G6. Okay, uh, I can go ahead and double click on the layer to rename this, and I can call this to be shapes. I will create new layer, and I will call this layer to be code, and I will go to the first uh, frame of the new layer, I will right click, and I will choose actions. And this is going to open me a text editor where I can write my code. I will zoom in a little bit so you can see my code a little bit better. Uh, right now I will just type this dot g1 visible is going to be false. And this is just going to hide me uh, the, the first shape. I will hit control enter to test this and indeed it is going to hide this. Uh, you can go ahead and duplicate this and make that G2 is also not going to be visible and so on. And like this, you can hide all of them. Uh, I will comment out uh, these lines of code. So I will hit slash slash and slash slash. This is just going to comment out one line of the code. So right now, everything is going to be visible. And if you want to create a for loop, you need to loop through array. So we will have to create an array. So I will type uh, let, uh, let is just a new version of declaring variables. You can go with uh, var if you want, but I will go with let. So let, I can call this uh, shapes uh, is equal, then the square brackets. And in here I will type this G1 comma, and I will copy this. I will make a little bit more space so you can see this. And this is going to be this G2, this G3, and so on. So basically I want to put all of my uh, all of my shapes uh, to this to this array. Uh, like so. So I have it like this. Okay, I will make this even a little bit bigger so you can see this. And uh, right now what I can type is uh, type shapes, square brackets, I will put zero in here and in a second I will explain why and I will type visible is going to be false and I will hit control enter and this is going to hide the, the first element and the thing is that the arrays are zero based uh, which basically means that uh, this element, this G1, is element number 0, the next one is element number 1, and the last one would be element number 5. So I can go ahead and duplicate this and make this to be 1, and I can duplicate this one more time, and this one, this is going to be 5. So basically, I will hide the first one, the second one, and the last one. I will hit Ctrl Enter, and you can see that they are, they are hidden. Again, I am going to uh, comment out all of them, like so, very simply. 
And now I'm going to create a for loop to hide all of them at one. So I'm, I will type for parentheses. And now in the parentheses, uh, we will have to declare the variable. So I will type let i is going to be equal to zero. Uh, you can go again with var, but I work with let. I just prefer it with a uh, uh, new version of the JavaScript. So let i. Uh, this i is uh, optional, but many people uh, use i in the for loop. So it's good practice. So let i is equal to zero. And it is equal to zero because we want to start with zero. If we want to start with number one, so we don't want to hide this element, uh, we want to hide this element and then all of the others, we would put a one in here. But I will show you then that later on. Uh, then I will type i is smaller than six. Because basically uh, we want to hide these elements uh, while i is smaller than six because it will it will start with zero and the last element is going to be element number five okay and five is smaller than six and six wouldn't be smaller than six if we have uh if we have four elements so this would be zero one two and three we would type that i is smaller than four very simple uh they then semicolon and then i will type i plus 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 basically means plus one, okay? And I will uh, create the curvy parenthesis and in here I can type my code. Uh, so I will borrow the code from here like so and I will paste it in here. So shapes, but instead of the zero, I will type I and I will hit control enter and you can see indeed that they all disappeared. And basically it means that uh, at the beginning, i is going to be zero and shapes zero visible is going to be false. And i is zero and uh, the condition is, is i smaller than six when i is zero? Yes. So it will execute and then i plus plus means that i is going to be uh, plus one, which means that i is going to be one. Uh, it will check whether i is smaller than six, one is smaller than six, so it will execute and again plus 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 one. And then uh, when i is five, it will check is five smaller than six, it is, so it will execute shapes five visible false and then i will be plus plus, so it means that i will be six and then it will check the condition is six smaller than six, no, so it's not going to execute anymore and it will stop. If I check this, change this to five, I will hit control enter. The last one is going to stay there. Okay. And the same thing, if I change this I at the beginning to one, it is not going to hide the first, uh, first element like so. So hopefully, hopefully this, uh, this makes sense like so. All right, fine. Uh, now what we can do is uh, let me again comment this out. Uh, if you want to comment out one line of the code, you use slash slash. And if you want to comment out multiple lines of code, you can go with uh, slash and asterisk. And then uh, to end the comment is asterisk and slash like so. And uh, right now I will borrow this for loop. So I will hit control C and paste it in here, control V. Uh, but right now we are not going to, we are not going to hide the shapes, but we are going to create an even listener. Okay. So I will get rid of this. So we have again the for loop and in the for loop we start with shapes. I, I will type add event, event listener. Uh, in the even listener, uh, we want to have a listener click. And now we want to uh, call some function. And in here are two possibilities. You can go with the anonymous function, which would means that you would type function 
parentheses and curly parentheses and type the function directly in here. Or you can go ahead and uh, call the function from here. And I can call the function hide shapes. All right, fine. I can type hide, hide shapes f like the function. I will copy this name. And while I am in the for loop, you don't want to go outside of the for loop. I will show you why. I will type this height shapes f parentheses curvy parentheses and in here I will type shapes i visible is going to be false and basically this means that uh, if I click on a specific element of the array that one is going to disappear I will hit control enter and I have probably some kind of error. So let me che check console. Okay. Yeah, and I can see what, what happened. <laughs> I don't know why I forget to type. Uh, you need to type the function uh, word. So function, height, shape, F <laughs> and so on. So right now, uh, when, when I click on one of them, uh, that one is going to disappear like so okay i want to show you that if i go ahead and cut this and i will put this function outside of my for loop this is not going to be working because this i when you have for loop is only for the for loop so this i is not going to be accessible or uh, from outside of the for loop so if i hit control enter nothing is going to happen okay if i would change this to zero for example so this this would means that i am putting to all of my shapes from zero to five even listener to hide the shape f function and then in the hide the shape f function i am hiding the specific uh specific element which is the first one this would work so basically this means that no matter on which shapes I will click, it will hide the first one. So I will hit Ctrl Enter and if I click on the first one, it will disappear. I will refresh and if I click on any of these, the first one will disappear like so. So you can call the function from for loop and the function do not need to be in the for loop. But if you want to access the I, uh, let me go back, uh, access the I, it wouldn't work like so you will you have to stay inside of the inside of the uh, of the function like so okay fine so uh, right now we what we are doing is we are hiding the the specific shapes but imagine that you would like to hide all of the all of the shapes when you click on any of the shapes so basically uh, I can go ahead and create the for loop inside of this loop. So I have the for loop and you can have you can have functions in the functions and you can have for loops in the for loops. So in the function height shapes f, I will create one more for loop, so for. And again I can go with let i is equal to zero. Or you can change this i to another letter, but i is going to be working fine right now. Then i is going to be smaller than 6 and i plus plus. And again, parentheses. And in here, I would like to type shapes i visible is going to be false. And I will hit control enter. And if I click on any of them, all of them are going to disappear. Okay, I will go back to the animate. And basically, we have an even listener, shapes i, to all of them. And then we have the function height shape f, which we are calling. And in the function, we have that we want to hide all of them. So no matter on which one we will click, we can hide all of them. And this one, right now, uh, I can cut this and put it outside of the of, of the for loop. 
because this has the new eye. It has nothing to do with this eye. I can change it to E, let E is equal to zero and shapes E. So basically just to distinguish like so, uh, like this, and I will hit control enter. It is still going to be working. Okay, but I will, I will put this back to the, to the for loop, but you can call this uh, even if this is outside. Okay, fine. So uh, basically this is it. This was a simple tutorial. Hopefully it was simple about the for loop in Adobe Animate. And I created some uh, games in Adobe Animate, uh, like tutorials for uh, the games or some interactive banners. And I wanted to create this for loop so when I in the future create some kind of game, I can put a link to this tutorial so I can explain this a little bit more because in this in these uh, games, I don't have as much time to explain everything. So hopefully everything was clear. Uh, if you have some questions, you can put them in the comments. And if you like this video, hit the like, uh, maybe go ahead and subscribe if you want tutorials like this. And in the future, I am planning to create uh, more tutorials about After Effects and Premiere Pro. So if you are interested in that, uh, yeah, hopefully they are going to be soon in the channel. So thank you very much for watching. Take care. Goodbye.